Hey everybody, Justin Cena here. How's it going? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to increase your Shopify SEO search engine optimization and sales at the same time by blogging. And blogging can be used as a sales and SEO tool if you do it the right way. And this could definitely be the missing piece to your growth. And creating blog content, blog posts, blog articles, this is a powerful SEO strategy for Shopify stores. There's nothing better than free organic search traffic and the search engines, and we're really just talking about Google because that's the thing that matters the most. Google loves content, original content. Google loves blog content. Google loves to be able to understand exactly what your website is about. And the more content that you create around the products and the niche of your store, the easier it's gonna be for Google to understand what your store is about and then rank you highly for those relevant searches. And by consistently focusing on SEO, we're gonna bring in more high intent, high converting customers, right? The idea is that when people are out there searching for something and you show up on Google, right? They're actually out there actively looking for it. They're gonna convert at a higher level than someone who might see an ad on Facebook or Instagram. So a lot of value here, but there are some pain points when you run into or when you wanna implement this SEO strategy. And really number one, the built-in Shopify blog functionality, way too basic. It's not at all SEO optimized. You need to use an app to really extend the functionality here. And the app must be easy to use and require no previous experience, no technical skill. We don't need to be looking at code or headings or anything like that. The app needs to focus on driving ROI, right? We want to get the SEO benefit, but we also want to drive sales, whether that's through integrating product videos, getting people to sign up into our mailing list so we could do email marketing to them and make money off them later, or just straight up promoting products inside of the articles, right? We want the SEO benefit and we want the sales benefit. So how are you gonna do this? You're gonna use Bloggle. This is exactly what I use and this is what I highly recommend. You're gonna see me go over the shoulder and actually implement Bloggle in one of my stores, but you see the link directly below this video. You definitely wanna take a look at Bloggle, incredibly powerful, in fact, here is that Shopify app right over here. And really this is going to allow you to drive traffic, high converting traffic, and by the way, free organic traffic through your blog content. And it's gonna allow you without any code to create gorgeous articles. They're gonna look great, they're gonna read great, they're gonna present great, they're gonna make you look and feel or, or to your customers like you're the absolute authority in your niche. And of course, they're gonna give you that SEO benefit that we've been talking about the whole time. But boosting your blog sales, this is what I really like as well. Whether it's directly selling a product inside of the article, right, adding products right into the, the blog post, having the images lazy load so you could show all product images without slowing down the site, or in the longer term, having people sign up for your email list, right, watching your videos, subscribing to your videos, maybe on YouTube if you show them through there. So a lot of different ways to grow sales, not only in the short term, but in the long term with that mailing list. They've really thought of everything and we're gonna go over the shoulder. I'm gonna show you everything about it, but take a look at the reviews over here. Five-star review after five-star review after five-star review. We can go page after page after page after page of these. All five-star reviews. Bloggle is exactly what you need. If you wanna take blogging for SEO and sales, seriously and again we're going to go over the shoulder you'll see but you have full customization of your blog layout right if you're used to what's going on with the shopify blog right now you're going to take it to the absolute next level and you're going to boost your seo at the same time and we talked about headings and code you don't need to deal with any of that because it's all integrated in here and a lot of the seo strategies that you might typically need to do with code is now all easily done right inside of Bloggle. This is what makes it so powerful. You don't need to have any type of pre-existing SEO experience here. You're going to get the full benefit of it by creating these blog articles. And you have the full visual editor here, so you could integrate all these different things. You saw that Clavio form integration as well to collect the email. So all you need to do, and we're going to go over the shoulder now, press the add app button, and this is going to get Bloggle into your store. You'll then press the green install app button up here, and you'll be able to start your free trial right over here. Make sure you use the discount code Justin Senior, J-U-S-T-I-N-C-E-N-E-R. You're gonna get a 20 day free trial instead of the typical 10 days. You'll be loaded into your Bloggle dashboard and you can enter your email over here so you can get updates directly from Bloggle. But you can watch this video, I'm gonna really walk you through exactly what you need to know to get started. And we're actually gonna go ahead and publish a blog right now. Something to note, you could also import articles if you've already been doing blogging inside of Shopify, but we're gonna focus on this blue button up top create new article and there's a lot of different styles here 
templates that we can choose from collection template and product template being some of my favorites in terms of actually getting product out in front of your customer you can also start completely from blank just starting from scratch here on this blank post there's a lookbook an interview it's good for kind of about us information a recipe which can also work you'll be able to save templates over here into the your template section but for right now we're going to go ahead and get started we're going to select the uh, collection template over here and what we want to do is basically just go ahead and enter an article title select the blog category that we have we can uh, control this inside of shopify we can create new categories as we grow our blog and we could put in our uh, article handle basically the link here and this is important for seo purposes we're going to want to put our keywords in here so i put in five great gifts for sports moms and dads put it in the news category you can create more categories later and then I put gifts for sports moms, dads over here in the uh, handle over here, the URL, because this is super important for SEO. Over here into the next step, we're going to be able to choose manual content, or uh, this is in beta right now, AI generated content. They'll actually create an entire SEO optimized blog post for you. We're going to come with manual content and we're going to click create. And what we're going to see now is the actual editor. And if you've made any changes to your Shopify store, you've used the Shopify online store theme editor. This is exactly the same here, except what we're doing it is now for our blog posts. And we literally have each of these different sections where we could enter in text right here. And you see it changes live. We could even change things like the font size the uh, styling as well, right? We could change different fonts. We could change different alignments. We could change normal, italic, right? Bold, all these different changes. We could, of course, change the color as well. And really everything right inside of this little editor, making sure that we save here. And as we go down, right, there's another section over here for image. We could literally go ahead and upload an image here. It's going to fill in this space right here. So we've gone ahead and added that image. Now, as we scroll back over here into the editor, Again, more area for us to customize. In this case, we're going to be able to add some paragraph text here. We'll be able to enter in content here for our blog post. So I've gone ahead and created some content in there and save that. You see that gets placed right in over here. Now, here's a really cool section over here, the product section. We're in the product gallery over here. And the best part is we get to have real live products. You see C product is going to link to those products. All we need to do is just simply search right for some products inside here we can go ahead and add a couple of different products and it's going to pull the information from the products right over there we can go ahead and add a few more as well and we'll do that and we'll save these options you see that this is pulling immediately from our shopify store these are the real prices when you click you'll be able to get sent right off into the product so we're going to have seo optimized content for sure seo optimized blog but we also have the ability to make sales here so as we continue to customize through going through this page, let's say, for example, there's one section you don't like. For example, you don't like this section. You literally come right over here, just simply delete it, and it's going to be gone. You're never going to have to look at any code. You're never going to have to do anything technical at all. And we'll come down here and continuously customize this. Another opportunity to make more sales over here. So we've added some more product. Keep uh, customizing here. Again, we can remove sections when we don't want them. We can come over here. We'll be able to add an image in here. So we could add an image. We could add text making sure that we save as we continuously go on here. And we have more content, right? We have this section right over here. We click into it. We can remove this block if we don't want. Again, we have full control over everything. We have a closing paragraph down here. We can even add a call to action button over here. We can do something like uh, shop our top sellers, and we can send them directly into a collection page over here. For example, our top sellers or our uh, customized stuff. So we'll click that in there and save that. And now we're going to save this in Bloggle. This is going to save this across our uh, kind of article base. And you're going to see that uh, it's hidden right now. Where we're going to be able to publish this now that the button has changed on top. But let's just give it a real quick review as we're looking at this. Again, very easy to do. We could even add content blocks as well, right? So let's say we wanted to add in some more content. I right? just have some basic demo content in here. But these are real products, right? Real imagery. Come over here, add content. And we have all of these additional kind of sections that we could add. No code right nothing at all we could add anything from spacers clavio form integration which is really powerful right we're going to get people to uh, go ahead and add themselves into their email list we can configure that inside of settings another great uh, kind of merchandising section over here where we could just simply add another featured product so we come over here add a product so again more merchandising uh, <clears throat> options here great part about bloggle it's going to look great across all different formats so we'll take a look on tablet we take a look on mobile it's going to fit into all of the different kind of sizing automatically we see our products still right there front and center with that ability for us uh, again at all times to be uh, optimizing for seo but also making sales so you'll notice this uh, kind of uh, oval over here that says seo we're going to click into this 
This is going to give us feedback and pointers on how we can optimize our page. And of course, a lot of this content is just copy and paste from different articles. But we're going to see as we click in here, we have different issues here. Right. And definitely we'd want to define a focus keyword. It's going to be things like sports mom gifts and sports dad gifts. Right? We'll want to talk about that and have that in there a bunch of times in terms of volume of those keywords. SEO title as well. Right? We want to be between 40 and 70 characters. So we could add a little bit more in there because we're currently at 36. Meta description, again, at least uh, adding an author, having a featured image with a tag. All images have the alt filled in. Right, We could actually go ahead and on any image that's uh, inside of here, when we actually edit the image, we have the ability to add alt text as well. So we could put uh, sports parent store and we'll be able to save that again. And that's kind of just best practice. But again, we see a huge list of things that we can do in terms of issues, then in terms of things like improvements. And now it's going to show what we've already done a good job with in terms of having our H2 tags or H1 tags. These are going to be automatically created with these different headings. So uh, that's why everything is kind of optimized out of the box. But this is definitely great to look at. Really cool thing about this also is that when we put in our focus keyword, it's going to be able to tell us uh, kind of a little bit more about it, right? How many times it's shown, right? Where should we be using it? And uh, that updates once we uh, add that in there. Obviously, the higher the keyword score, the more relevant it is. And really, you could imagine we just kind of did copy and paste uh, text here. So once we have real content in there, our score will get a lot higher. But uh, we do have some uh, kind of things here optimized and um, pretty uh, uh, good kind of setup here so far in terms of uh, being able to optimize. Well, we can literally click right inside here, right? SEO title should be between 40 and 70. It's at 36. So we're going to come over here for the SEO title, sports parent shop. And now we're right inside of that kind of uh, guideline there. So we'll have that updated over here and it's going to uh, obviously be removed from this list. We had eight, now we have seven. Same thing over here. If we extend or uh, kind of uh, make this a little bit longer, we'll close or save this again. We'll take a look and go at our SEO and we do see our keyword score increasing a little bit. It was 40. It's at 52 now and uh, we've removed a couple of those issues. So basically you go all the way through. You're going to get your score very high. All these are very easy to do. Just literally click right inside of them. Come over here. We could add a tag. Go ahead and add that. Right, we could add multiple tags as well. Saving again and going to increase our optimization. So very easy to do. All you need to do literally just follow along in terms of the different items that are in here. It will update on its own and you'll see that all uh, help to boost your SEO. One more thing before we publish, we want to come over here into settings. We could take a look at some of our SEO settings. For example, we could add our SEO description. So add a little meta description in there. And again, we could save up here and we could run through all the different settings in terms of we could actually schedule this. We could take a look again at the entirety of uh, kind of the setup of the blog article. But really what's left for us to do is publish this on Shopify. It's going to actually push this live. We don't need to go ahead and actually, uh, and you see some of the um, warnings here. These are great to make sure that we're optimizing everything. So we'll go ahead and click add image and go ahead and add that image up here in blog post settings. Again, it's going to show you exactly what to do. So we'll come and select that image over here and uh, we'll save that. And we could add that uh, SEO target as well in terms of the keyword. And all those settings are saved. Publishing now again here to have everything pushed forward into Shopify. If we like this format, right, and I really like it a lot in terms of merchandising, right, we can come and save this as a template. So I'm going to call this uh, Justin's merchandising uh, because I think this is a uh, really good kind of option here. And here is that blog post right here. You see our big title image, our title, everything that we've customized, right? We bolded this, we changed it to left align, we uh, took off italics. We have our imagery over here and of course our content. Most important part over here, our merchandising going directly right into our products and all these other sections that we had the opportunity to customize shopping our top sellers collection going over here. And again, with that extra product, really top to bottom, we have full control over that. And as we click through, right, we see those additional products that were merchandised right in this template. A few more things to show up here. Global styles. You're going to see that we could actually kind of create the uh, color scheme and stylings for all the different things. Style one, style four, style three, style two, style one. You see these are basically different headings. You could even add new text styles, buttons, margin, general, right? Everything. So you have full control over how it looks on an individual pixel basis. So really powerful if you want to customize on that level. Most of the time I'm in here though in the blog layout. This is going to allow us to customize the look and feel of our entire blog page, showing the categories, right? The listing of different pages, how the articles are shown. And we have full control over all that right inside of all these different options here, right? So we could show multiples on one page. We could change it just for uh, layout for tablet, for phone, for desktop, all of these point and click. We, we can even add custom CSS 
and different labels over here for read posts, right? We could change all that up there. And once we publish this out, this is gonna be good to go. And Bloggle enables the ability to search a blog post. And this is awesome. You're not gonna find this with themes right out of the box. Very, very powerful here. And again, this is uh, just another setting here when you're gonna be spending a lot of time inside these articles and inside of the dashboard. So that was Bloggle. And again, you see just how powerful it is. It's also very easy to use. So follow along with that step-by-step, -step. get this into your store. You see the link directly below this video. You're gonna to start to drive that organic traffic to your store, making those additional sales, building your email list and boosting your SEO. So highly recommended. Here's Bloggle again, the link directly below this video. Get this in your store and I hope this helps you make some money. Talk to you real soon. Thanks.